All right, and we are recording, and welcome to the Wolves Intensive on uh, the February 18th. We're going to get this recorded, and we're going to blaze through this. If you've seen the last Wolves Intensive, in fact, I'm going to get the video so I can get the links. There's going to be a bit of a delay. Let's see. Good morning. Office intensive. And you will see a list of all the materials. Here it is. Wolves intensive 11 to 2015. Let's see if I can break my record. Last time we did in about an hour and eight minutes. So here's all the materials that you will need. First, and I have them all on this one page right here. You'll need create.swift. Here is the Wolfus homepage. Just right click on that. Save your link as, and save it to your, uh, wherever you want to keep it. I suggest making a folder for it, so you can put all your custom props in there as well. Then you're going to need GIMP, Audacity, Wax, AndySnap. Here's what GIMP looks like. It is your screenshot dealie. Here's Audacity, it is your audio editing dealie. Wax is a video editing dealie. AndySnap, which is your, uh, photo getter dealie. And, oh yeah, one more thing you're probably going to need. Flash projector. This is something I probably really need to add to the uh, Wolvis Intensive description. It's uh, how I open Dude, my create. You want to know I... what else you're going to need, Spaz? What? A smart Alex sidekick. Thankfully, I'm here to provide that role today. Alrighty. Oh, let me add this. Let's see. Flash projector. See, opens wow, quickly and easily. <laughs> there we go. Now that I have flash projector added to my video, let's get down to business. Okay, so we have all Can your materials. Video? Let's see who just joined us. Okay, we have Wolfma and Delta. Welcome. Have you have anything to add to this? Then we'll, uh, then that'd be useful. All right, I have my, as I mentioned earlier, in the first tutorial I ever made, hotkeys. If you go to options and go to your hotkeys, you can set up the mouths, the eyes, and that's how I do that. They're all on your numbers. These control the mouths, these control the eyes. You can also do both at once. All right, so let's just blaze through this. F key flips and rotates, oh yeah. Uh, the mouse is turned off. Let me turn the mouse back on, because in the last video, I had the mouse turned off. This might take a little second. Let's see, uh, source settings. Again, this is all live. Show a cursor. There we go. Now you can see the mouse. Okay. So, now that you can see the mouse, I hope you can see the mouse. Let me just get this. Again, this is all live. No rehearsal, no recording. Well, this is recording, but you got the idea. Okay, so, as soon as this thing moves out of the way, left mouse moves everything, right mouse does nothing. F flips, shift F uh, does vertical flips, number keys do all the uh, mouth movements. What else? R randomizes your character, D duplicates your character, delete deletes your characters and props and other things. Let's get something else. Let's get me back up here. M is the manipulator tool. It controls your scale. It controls your rotation. You also uh, can rotate your characters by clicking on the head or holding control to move. You can also hold control to move them around. But if that doesn't work, you can go to options. You can turn off uh, head rotates characters. And now you can just click by default and control rotates the head. Let's turn that back on because I like that option. Let's see. Other options? Okay, in addition to control rotating stuff, in fact, control rotates objects too. Let me get the arcade thing. Yeah, control spins this thing around while left clicking just moves it. Shift does the size again. What else? Oh yeah, shift does the size, control does rotation. I think I pretty much got that all down. Again, M for manipulator tool. Oh yeah, another control I forgot in the last one. The D button clusterizes. We'll get to clusterizing in a moment. And uh, let's see. If you try to press the D button on the uh, object. Oh yeah, the D button clusterizes. So uh, let's get another object. I forgot. Oh yeah, 
If you press R on an object, it makes it rain. This will come in handy if you want to make Danmaku stuff. It's raining apples. Okay. What else am I missing? Controls for speech bubbles. Let me get a speech bubble out here. Uh, control moves the uh, bubble itself. Holding shift and control controls the size and proportions of the bubble. And shift controls the size of the bubble. You can also use the manipulator tool to change the placement, change the text, change the proportion, change the scale. Okay, that's gone. Okay, let's see, what else? Am I missing anything? <coughs> but I oh. can think. Screenshots, that's very important. If you press the S button on the blank background, it actually uh, copies over. Uh... In fact, I actually talked to Thuffer once. He said if he could work on create.swift, he would do a thing where he could uh, put objects in groups. Well, if you do it on the blank background, now you have the object in a group. Another cool thing about uh, screenshots is, uh, let's see. Let's uh, zoom in a bit. One of my personal tips is use the whole background. Oh, whoops. Minus 200, Y, scale 230. There we go. So if you press the S button, oh yeah, space goes into theater mode. It gets rid of the HUD. So if we want to take screenshots, it's space. Oh yeah, and if theater mode doesn't work, go to options, turn on theater mode. It should be right down here. And the cool thing about uh, taking screenshots is you can blur them. Watch this. And if you lower the opacity, you can do that on screenshots. Now you have this really neat bloom effect. And if you turn on untargetable pin in the options, it's right here. You get the P button, and now you can select objects behind it. And if you wanna clear your screen, clear stage. You can also save parts, but I wouldn't recommend that. I personally just save everything as sessions. These are some really old sessions right here. And I have my characters here, but if you'll notice, when I go to my DNA, see, it might take a bit to load up because for some reason when I do the Ustream thing, it's uh, all my windows take a while. I have tons and tons and tons and tons of DNA spanning several series. Oh, yeah, let's uh, let's load up one of those Don't DNAs. So many series that I doubt Spaz even remembers what half the DNAs are for. No, I remember all of them. This is Five <coughs> Dangerous Months, this is k -On, this is uh, Chinibio, this is Nowhere Stories, Fate Stay Night, Endless Blue, Marine Benefit, Mini Witch 3's characters, Void Spawn characters, Wallfacers before we had a DNA dump, Diamond in the Rough, Post Diamond, uh, the uh, post or uh, Broly characters, all of my original characters. Uh, let's see, Homestuck, Mind the Gap, Shingo Incident, Legend of Derp, Mac vs. PC vs. Pretty Pretty Pony vs. Linux, Textbook Perfect, and Karais of Hats. I can name each and every one of these characters. So Nerd. As one person said in one of the slow beef videos they did a commentary for, Spastic, you are the god of nerds. <laughs> it is a title that I take proudly. So, to load up a DNA, go to Toys, Cloning Capsule, double click on the Cloning Capsule, bam. Let's see. And, let's see. And you gotta memorize the prop list. Okay, hit the C button to recolor objects. So I think, oh yeah, and you can't go back, so I guess there's only one shade of green here. There we go. We made John, oh, sorry. We made John from Homestuck. He, he, he also doesn't even have the arms either, so it's accurate. Let's say you want to make a character from scratch. Get out of here, John. Get out of here, Slimer. And uh, go to new character. Look at this monstrosity. It's a total mess. So let's clean this mess up. Get rid of the hat. Get rid of the items. Get rid of the accessories. Get rid of the back. Uh, give him Marissa's shoes. Give him uh, Marissa's arms. I1, mouth zero. There we go. Nice and clean. So give me a random character from a series, preferably. Mm. 
I got nothing, and I need to go downstairs. Because <laughs> parents, I'll be back. All right, let me ask you, Scream Chat. Chat, give me a random character from a random series to recreate in Great.Swift. While you guys come up with a character, I'm going to show you the backgrounds. This is your uh, location controls. Where the background is, uh, is, scale is, how uh, big it is, rotation, self-explanatory, friction controls how much the characters uh, like move around, brightness. I wouldn't recommend brightness. You can just use the darkness prop for that. Let's see. If I looked up a picture of Michu from uh, Grisaya no Keijitsu, I would likely run into some not safer work material, or at least that's my guess anyway. Uh, popular character, preferably. Let's see, Roxy from Homestuck. Shoot, my Homestuck knowledge is failing me now. I mean, I know the core four and some of the trolls, but that's about it. It's been a while. I haven't seen Homestuck in a year, sadly. Really need, need to flex my nerd muscles again. So let's see. Yes, use the whole background. Uh, zoom in a bit. And don't just have the characters like have the same scale the whole time. You can get close-ups. You can have... Uh, you can have... Uh, proportions, perspectives, etc., etc. Oh yeah, and another cool thing you can do. Insert, object... One sec... Shadows. There you go. Put those on the floor. Oh, yeah. No thing. Control down sends something to the very back. Control up sends it to the very front. And shift up and down uh, goes between the different layers. So let's say there's three of these things. And this thing is in the very back. That's shift up and down for you. And this is control up and down. And if you don't want to do that on the keyboard, just go to the menu down here. And it's under edits. Send the back. Send backward. Bring forward. Or bring the front. And of course, it is possible to rename these props, but I don't see any reason why you'd need to rename everything. Does anyone in the uh, chat want to give a go of a character I can uh, create? Oh, here's a picture of Michuru. Uh, someone put it in the uh, Wolf Maw. Okay, let's see. Yellow twin tails, bow, skirt. All right, let's give that a shot. Okay, get out of here. Get out of here. It's uh, some kind of neutral background. Now let's just go for the white background. Okay. So, actually, better yet. Let's do it like this. I return. Welcome. Okay, the the uh, menu looks a little awkward like this, but let's give it a shot. Unfortunately, there isn't much in the way of twin tails except for Sunny Milk, uh, Chiru, and uh, Hatate. So let's just go with Hatate for now. I seriously want to make like a twin tail prop because it's something you put behind the character, so it, it probably wouldn't be that hard to make. And you just have to like study. The list. Okay, so colorize. It's blonde. Oh yeah, the colorize menu is how you uh, colorize your character's hair. Show DNA if you want to uh, save it for later. We're not going to need that yet. Okay. The body. It's going to be a. Uh, let's see. Something akin to uh, Marissa's, but not exactly. Of course, it doesn't help that the uh, costumes are so small because I have this open. Uh, let's see if I can just move it over just a little bit. Okay, kind of a black shirt deal. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to need this to be much bigger if I'm going to see it. Let's 
Let's see. That's not it. Uh... And if all else fails, you can make custom DNAs, but I'm one of those guys that really likes the vanilla stuff. Okay. Let's... How do uh, custom DNAs work? Oh, custom DNAs, that's simple. You just go to show DNA, copy the DNA, and then you put in the cloning capsule on the toys menu. Unfortunately, I put the cloning capsule out of uh, range here. Then you double click on the cloning capsule and you input the DNA. Oh, whoops. Oh, and be careful not pressing the tinker button. The tinker button will uh, make other weird things pop out. But let's see. She's got a bow looking deal, so that'd be under objects. I believe there's also a bow accessory, but I don't want to use it. Because if you uh, use an because uh, let's see, if you use an accessory, then you lose that accessory. Okay, bow. Okay, and she's got a little ribbon deal going on. So let's see, ribbon deal should be under hats. Funny enough, I think it might also be Hat uh, Hatate has ribbons, so. Hello. Yo. What is going on in here? Trying to recreate a character in Walfus. If I could just find Goody. those ribbons. Oh, so it's that one girl from what something. Um, oh, uh, crap. Where's she from again? The top is saying the okay. set. Let's okay. See. Let's see. That's not going to work. That's not going to work. It's not going to work. It's getting close. Now, this may take a little work, but once you have the DNA, you have it forever. Unless CC Cleaner decides to uh, clean up your computer. You can post it online. And you forget to, uh, and you forget to save it in a uh, text document. <laughs> Okay, looks like we can't do that. But luckily, let's see. That's not gonna work. Shoot, a Tante doesn't come without a any sort of non-hat version of her ribbons. So if someone wanted to make a Madoka thing, that'd be much harder. I'm going to give it one more minute, and then we'll have to move on. Hmm. So you're trying to recreate a character in Wolf, is that from what you said? Yes. Hmm. I personally just befriend everybody who is artsy and then go get uh, customs, but that's me. But that's you. All right. So, Wolf Moth, you're watching the uh, stream. Uh, how are we looking? Uh, pretty good. All right. I think that's about as close as we can get it. Would you like the DNA? Um, sure. All right. If you want to give that DNA to someone... Oh, yeah. If you want to name the character, just double-click them. And uh, Michiru, right? Yeah. Michiru, sorry. Michiru. Okay, there we go. And you can also edit the clothes in GIMP if you want to like get the extra detail, or whatever image editing thing you like. I'm gonna post it here, and I'm going to post it in the chat. Okay. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so one moment while my windows get back to normal. I want to see if you could do a character from Guilty Gear, but no, no, right. All right, Svaz, what's going to be the main attraction of this stream? You showed us how to do characters. You showed us how to do, uh, how to set everything up. 
Let's see, I'm not sure what else. We're, let's see, next is Speech Bubbles, Customs, Rain, then Cluster Eyes. Let's see, let's go to a random field and, uh, oh, I have an idea. Here's gonna be something interesting. Let's go through, uh, let's make an hmm. episode of Kenma the Barrio Kai, shall we? Oh, God. I was gonna suggest a joking little animation, but that, uh, oh, dear. We can also do an animation, too, but, uh, let's see, we could probably save that for, uh, some other time. Let's see, Kenma the Barrio right. Kai. In fact, everyone can watch me make an animation after this, because I'm gonna be working on the HTF video later tonight. Which is long, long <laughs> overdue, but I'm not True. one for giving up. It sounded like five months. So, what will be the premise for uh, today's <laughs> episode of Kenma the Barrio Kai? Just give me a random character. Um, like from Toho. Let's see, Futo, you say? From Toho. Um. All right. So we have Futo, and let's get a custom oh. prop in the mix. This. Say Futo, but okay. <laughs> oh. Yeah, go well, ahead. Go just say for then. Futo. Okay, go for Futo then. It... Well, who did you say? N nobody. I just say Toho. Alright. Anyway, custom props. If you have your prop in your uh, main folder, you can just type it in, but if you have it in another folder, you can go to security, object name. <coughs> Copy this. I've named it a bear. Insert image a bear dot PNG. PNGs have uh, transparency support. Also, one thing to remember about PNGs, they uh, get blurrier the bigger you make them. I'm a bear. I'm a bear. Let's see. Actually, oh, no, we'll I know. Another I thought it was a bear. Let's see. Also, someone ah. said Chen. Oh yeah, let's make the beginning background. Some backgrounds are animated, like the sketchy BG background. So let's get rid of Futo for one moment, and let's make the title for an episode of Kenmo the Mario Kai. Oh yeah, to do any snap, <laughs> the, the video, the frame in the background. <laughs> you guys will have to see what happens there. Let's see, DeviantArt stuff. Let's see, Adventures of Kenma. I believe we're on episode 5, so episode 6. Kenma EP6. Okay. So I'm going to review what the thing looks like. The Adventures of Kenma the Bariokai, episode 6. So to make a floating text bubble, you got a floating... Set your fonts. Geekbyte's very good for titles. The Adventures of Kenma the Bear Yokai. Again, shift makes it bigger. Also, control left and right makes it bigger or smaller. Shift left and right and controls the rotation. Okay, episode six. Let's see, what's gonna happen between Futo and Kenma? So now you're gonna see the, the gears turning for the brainstorming process. Cause I'm thinking of boats, something having to do with uh, Elizabethan era English or Japanese. I'm currently leaning towards something involving boats. See, what about fire? Yuchi says Kenma throws her boat at her. I'm gonna explain a little bit more about that one. Let's see, episode six. Hmm. Oh, I just got thought of something. Episode oh, 6, The Great Sea Race. 
Let's see. <laughs> okay, so the Great Sea Race. Okay. Random field. Let's adjust the size. So 271 minus 200 minus 100. Okay, and because this is kind of the Barry Yokai, let's make something really derpy. Let me get the uh, bullets 01. Make this as our sun. And let me go to my main prop folder, because I know I have it in this prop folder. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Hina face. Hina face dot PNG. There we go, son of the Hina face. So let's have Futo and Komachi. And because yeah, Ken of the Barrio Kai is all about over exaggerations of uh, characters. I'm back. Welcome back. Hmm. Let's see, signs, uh, and put a sign next to Komachi. <laughs> Floating, let's see. Oh yeah, let's make the text, uh, let's see, gothic. Let's I'm gonna see. go check the menu hall room, menu hall, menu hall room real quick. Okay, I am literally in a coma, Komachi. Let's see. Now we need the gondola prop. <laughs> and we have. There we go. You can probably guess where this is going. Oh, good catch. I am literally in a camo. All right. Oh god. Hey, what's up? <laughs> I doth have the half What's going on in here? I've the very impact. Let's see, uh, the uh let's see. Greatest water fairing. Let's see, how do you spell fairing? F A R I N G. Let's see. Wait. Yeah, that's it. Oh, what kind of I fairing? I don't have the greatest water fairing. Fairing F vessel in all of Gensokyo. Thou wench. <laughs> Let's see. What the fuck? Anon. <laughs> Anon crumpets. Tea and crumpets. Lynch and on crumpets, petrol. <laughs> yeah.
There we go. That's screenshot number two. And now let's add a bear image. Control V. Import. <laughs> Good sir, would thou... <laughs> What thou is <laughs> partake in <laughs> judging a contest in speed Manliness. fast and <laughs> furious <laughs> earth. Let's see. You mean a race? <laughs> Insert double speech. Yes! Pip, pip, cheerio! <laughs> Alrighty, let's see. Wait, since uh, I want to do a CA Walfus uh, Top Gear parody now. That'd be pretty neat. Alright. Now we're gonna go towards the punchline. And it's a punch. Let's see. Where's the water? <laughs> Or on dry land. <laughs> there we go. Let me take a screenshot. I think at the end of this tutorial, I'm going to uh, compile all these in GIMP and show them how to upload it. Let's see, what's our time right now? We are at 33 minutes. Of course, the awkward pause. Let's see, another frame. Let's see. Then photo, uh, then photo just totally breaks character and goes, holy shit! Or something along those lines. Or, Queen's nuts! <laughs> Let's see, how's that? Or what would be a better expletive for Fudo to shout? Anyone there? Hi. Here. Let's see, is Queen's Nuts a good expletive? Uh... <coughs> I have one if you want to do a reference. Well, the Queen's Nuts is a reference, too, to Peasel Ward. We go on? I've never heard of that in my life. I do, uh, The one I, I was thinking was, uh... Go ahead. I was saying, I do a lot of references to really ob obscure stuff because I, I want to just, like, see the one guy go, uh, I know that series that when turns, like, what am I missing? Huh. Yeah, the one I was thinking of was a reference to uh, the Wheel of Time books, and it's uh, by Mother's Milk.
Say buy mother's milk or my mother's milk? Buy mother's milk. As in, uh, bye bye. So, BY Mother's Milk? Yeah. Let me double check to make sure that's the right. Okay, I just thought of something really horrendous that we actually do to the By Mother's Milk reference. Tidal Wave of Milk comes in, brought to you by Renosuke's Mother's Milk. It's actually not from my mother. It's not actually oh, God. milk. Oh, God. Oh. You are absolutely terrible, Spaz. Sorry. Absolutely. That's fucking cool. That's hilarious. <laughs> Let's see, I'm also thinking of other alternatives. So we have Queen's Nuts by Mother's Milk. Something having to do with Margaret Thatcher, possibly. <laughs> what? I one of my friends is uh, streaming Gravity Falls for a couple people. Alrighty. Uh -huh. So let's see. What to do for this joke? Let's see. Fuck me. Yeah, let's see. How about... Hmm. Buy Mother's Milk, you're okay, right. Okay, what game did install next? Wait, what? Holy shit! <laughs> oh yeah, um, Roy. Yep. Do you get your computers? Yep. How is it? Yep. Good. I. Yes. <laughs> I just thought of something. Oh dear. Okay. The sun. <laughs> Speaking of milk, how'd you like some? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
What to install next? Oh, whoops, the sign. This, I accidentally deleted the sign. Let's see. Set fonts. I am literally in a coma. Komachi. All right, there we go. Oh yeah, here's how to make flooding effects. Let's make the puddle. Fun. All right, there we go. Kamachi is also going to be sinking into the milk. Wait, what? <laughs> and let's make ourselves a tidal weight of milk. Now let's go to the clusterize option. Hit the D button to clusterize. Then double click your cluster spiral to edit it. So let's see, our mod controls the rotation of the thing. We're not going to need our mod because we're going to make it random. We're going to sp do the spread, which is how much it spreads out. And we're going to extend it to 400 with seven layers and a spiral of 23. No, no, that's 23 is too far, 15. So we got ourselves a nice little tidal wave effect. Let's see. Now let's increase the spread to 50. And let's try 12. Uh, 600. There we go. And let's increase the uh, columns, no rows, to about 8. Uh, 6. And rows to about 9. Again, a lot of my Walfa stuff is just trial and error, just figuring out what works. Okay, objects. Let's add a spray object. So we can really make it look random. Let's see. Spray. There we go. You have a son named Spray? Yeah, it's short for Sprainerd. Sprainerd Kruger. There we go. There we go. We got ourselves a tidal wave of milk. Okay, now let's delete all the objects. <laughs> Brought to you by Renoskis. Let's see. Let's see. The following comic. <laughs> this episode of K 
Kenma the Bear Yokai was brought to you by All right. Darkness plus bottle. Actually, I wonder if we can recolor the main bottle so it'll look like a milk bottle. Uh, I know you can recolor the bottle prop. I'm not sure if you can recolor it white. Oh, you can actually. Or, yeah, you can colorize the the bottle prop. <clears throat> Let's see. All right, and to remove everything else, go do body, arms none, shoes none, and you can only have one accessory at a time. So let's just add the blush. We're gonna duplicate the face so we can make an extra accessory prop. So duplicate. To remove the hair, go down to, it's near the bottom of the list, a headless. Eyeless, it should be eye number 129. Accessories should be circular glasses, if I can find them. There we go. Let's see. Was brought to you by <laughs> Renosuke brand mother's milk. <laughs> Renosuke brand mother's milk. <laughs> Just like mom used to make. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, what? You got the eyes looking at you using eye number 96. Let's see. <laughs> and the look on her nose gave face. Let's see. Not actually for my mom, and it's not actually milk. Oh yeah, to be continued! There we go. Now we have ourselves a whole messed up comic. <laughs> I'm totally really disgusted at you. <laughs> Alrighty. So we talked about clusterizing, we talked a little bit about, well, we didn't exactly talk about rain, so... 
Let's talk about rain real quick. Hit the R button to start raining things. Ahem. Hit the R button to start raining things. If the R button doesn't work, you can hit the rain button. Both of these control the direction of the rain, so let's just have it falling straight down. You hit zero, zero. And there you go. It's rain in bottles. And let's get 25 of them. Get a really saturated. And you can get them in different colors. Okay, let's get rid of you. And let's open up GIMP. Now, uh, RSG Maker made a really spiffy program called Comic Layouter, but if you don't have Comic Layouter, then here is how you make a comic in GIMP really quickly. First, file. Open as layers. Go to the folder where you keep all your stuff. I'm gonna drink a drink while it loads. Go to your, uh, the Adventures of Kenma, the Bear Yokai, episode six. Select all of those. And I like to resize my stuff so it's 800 pixels wide. As soon as that thing pops up, there we go. Link the two together, 800 pixels wide. So 456, that's 461. It's gonna be my scaling size. Stack, reverse layer order. Use the align tool relative to the image. 461, distribute upwards. Fit the canvas. Last layer, layered image size, fill it with black, so you get that spiffy little border effect. And there we go, we have the whole comic, ready to go. File, save as, PNG image. Oh, whoops. Save it as an original name. Six full dot PNG. <coughs> Wait for the options to come up. As I said on the stream, my windows run really slowly. All right, merge the visible layers. You don't have to worry about those options. All righty. All right, close GIMP. And when it's ready to upload, you can, uh, let's see, go to DeviantArt, submit. Thank goodness there was nothing not safe for work on the DeviantArt page. Normally there's at least like, today's top three pictures are uh, a picture of a flower, a picture of some decent stuff and pornography. Wait, what? Yeah, people post, uh, n well, they say they're artistic nudes, but come on, somebody flashing their naughty bits in front of the camera like that is not exactly what you call artistic. And this is coming from a guy <laughs> who's drawn yeah, nudes before. Whatever. For class. The best kind of nude drawing is they only have like five seconds to draw the pose. Alright, and this is what I like to do every time I upload something, I double check my work. Oh yeah, for those interested, I just released Prose, a guide to actually writing. Meh. Okay, The Adventures of Kenma the Bear Yokai. Adventures of Kenma. The Bear Yokai, episode six. Let's see, no mature content, or at least none that younger audiences would get. File under this. To featured and the adventures of Kenma the Bear Yokai. Let's see. 
to, uh, I guess, long comics because it's slightly long. I have read the terms of service. I know what that's all about. Submitted. And there you go. Your monstrosity is now online for the world to see. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> I like how the sun just pops out and <laughs> it's not actually milk. It's nail polish. You can never paint your nails enough. Oh, that was much safer than I originally intended. <laughs> Alrighty, I think that about covers just about everything when it comes to stuff on create.swift. If there's more you'd like to learn, just message me on DeviantArt or YouTube or wherever you see this. And if you want to make comics and stuff, just follow everything I did here and everything I did in the last intensive. And I will see you the next time I do something like this. <laughs> and I'm yeah, recording here. Hey.